Now, your News 9 Sports. It's been a big week for a number of local prep stars. Jasmine Yang of Wausau Golf qualified for the state tournament in Kohler next week. In girls tennis, Natasha Bailey and Alexis Cloth of Wausau West and Becky Lorraine of Newman also qualified for the state tournament with big sectional wins. Elsewhere in prep action. All right, let's start with some cross country. DC Everest hosting Wisconsin Rapids. The ladies are first up on the roughly two mile long course. Both teams get off to a fast start, but as they neared the back end of the course, this runner from Everest would start to pull away and she takes home the win in this one. Things weren't done yet though. Back at the starting line, the boys were off and running immediately following the girls. And this one had quite the finish. Rapids in the lead for a good portion of the race, but in the last half mile or so, this runner from Everest overtakes him and grabs a dramatic win. From the beautiful outdoors, we now head inside to the pool where we find DC Everest hosting Marshfield. First event up is the 200 yard medley. Things close to start, but eventually the Evergreens pull ahead for the win. And it was the same story in the 200 yard freestyle close through the first few laps, but eventually Everest Caitlin Hall would be the first to finish. But Marshfield would finish on top in the next event in the 200 yard IM as Faith Risa gets the win. Going on at the same time across town, another swim meet between Wausau East and West. First event for the rivals was the 100 yard butterfly. For this one, it would be the Lumberjacks coming out on top as Sydney Shoneman finished first with a time of just over a minute five. East would again taste victory in the next event, the 100 yard freestyle as Lucy Giles was in a close battle late, but she would eventually pull ahead for the win. Lumberjacks take the overall meet 116 to 54. Shifting gears now, same school, different sport. It's Wausau West on the volleyball court looking to beat DC Everest. We pick things up in the third set, each team winning one before that. Early in this one, it's some DC dominance. Nice high set for Danny Langseth to hammer it home, but Langseth isn't done. This time it's off the short set, but it's the same result, point Evergreens. Warriors not backing down though. Kylie Buckberger answers with the spike of her own. Ricochets off the defender for the score. Everest ekes out a three sets to two win. Let's head west now all the way to Edgar as the Wildcats take on the Phillips Loggers. First set of the night, the Wildcats find themselves trailing. But Reagan Borchardt starts cutting into that with the shot off the block. Borchardt getting it done on both sides of the ball tonight. She teams up with McKenna Gooden for the block. Phillips would rally back though as Elsa Schluter goes off the net and onto the line for the loggers point. Then it's her teammate Jada Egerbrecht's turn to score, splits the block right down the middle and it was all coming up loggers from there. They win three sets tonight. And finally, we end up in Marathon where we find them hosting Newman. The home team taking the first set and looking for more. Ava Krieger rises up and cracks one to the back row. Too hot for the Cardinals to handle point Red Raiders. Newman a little more gentle in their approach as Maggie Wolf provides the finesse maneuvers around the block for the score. The Red Raiders though found what works for them and they are going to stick with it. Alyssa Hall aggressive to the ball and pays it off for the point. Red Raiders win three sets to one.